Hi, and welcome to this video in the MRDCL Fundamentals series. And in this video, we're going to be looking at filtering tables on those answering or those giving an answer to a particular question. Now, there are times that you want to use this particular feature. Perhaps you've got a question where um, there's perhaps a low answering rate and you want to base the table only on those people who are given an answer. Or you've got data where perhaps the filters aren't present that should logically be in place for a question. And so you want to filter the, the, the table itself on those that give an answer to a question only. And there are times also you actually want to just re-percentage on those perhaps choosing uh, a particular answer so that you can see how that uh, adds up. And for single response questions, that would add up to 100 percent. But of course, for multi response questions, that could and probably generally would over add. So let's look at some data that we've got here. And in here, we've got some very simple data. Uh, the first four fields in this data file here uh, have a serial number. And then we've got two fields. Here. The first of these, the one in this case is a gender. And the next one is an age. And then we've got a three digit value here. And if you can look down the records, you could see that respondent number five has no gender coded. Respondent number six has no age and respondent number five again has no value uh, for a distance. I think that's been recorded. So let's look at this in the script. Let's move to that window. And you can see here we've got some fairly simple variables. DS.agenda is 512. Now, you note they haven't got an E or an R on the end, because if we had an E or an R on the end, everybody would go into that variable. And what I want to show to you here is what happens if you use certain format options that only pick up the people that give an answer for the gender question, or in the case of the age question, the age question. We've got a simple question here, variable here, age, picks up codes one, two, three. And then we pick up the distance here, which was that three digit field, which was in the seventh to the ninth fields. And then if we come to the tables, you'll see that table one is just a standard table agenda by age. So that will be all six respondents that you saw, but it will under add because, as you may recall, one respondent didn't have a gender and one respondent didn't have an age. And we'll see that in the table with table one. Now, if we move on to table two. What we've got at table two is we have a format option in place, ANR. Now that means you want to base the table on all answering the rows of that table. In other words, all those that give a gender. So that table should logically drop from six respondents down to five because there's one respondent that didn't have a gender. And in fact, this table here, the next table down, is exactly the same table because here we're actually applying a filter of saying if gender's not blank, produce the table of gender by age. So effectively, this filter is the same as using that format option. Table three goes one step further. So for table three, we've got the same table again, but this time we've got ANR and ANC. Now, ANC means all answer in the columns. So what that will mean is we want only to go into this table people who give a gender and an age so logically the base will drop to four people and then we move on to uh, table number four which is that distance which was the three digit field in seven to nine so first of all the table without a filter with rna which means rank the values in ascending order and then the same table below which has another format option, ANV, which means anybody giving a value other than undefined for the uh, numeric value or the integer distance in this particular case. So ANV sort of working on numeric variables rather than ANR, which is working on single or multi variables, and ANC likewise working on single or multi variables. So we would expect the base here to drop because there was one respondent who didn't have a value for that. All right, let's run that table now. Let's come out of this and run it. And let's look at the results we get. So table one is based on six people. You can see that the males and females only add to five and the ages only add to five. And there's actually only four people in the body of the table because there was one gender missing and one age missing. We go down to table two 
and we get five people in that because A and R is applied, so the one person with no gender disappears from this table. Table 2X was the same table, but actually applying a filter, so it actually produced the same figures. Table 3, we had A and R and A and C, so now we're just down to the four people who gave a gender and also gave an age. So now the body of the table adds to four people, as do the rows and columns. Table four was the table with uh, no format options, no filters, so we've got all six people in there. And there you can see the one person with dash, 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 who had an undefined value. And then we rerun this with A and V format option, so it drops to five and the dash, dash, dash disappears. And of course, consequently, as with the gender and age questions, the percentages change. So whereas the percentages here are 17, 33, 17, 17, and 17, with five, they become 20, 40, 20, 20 and 20. So that's really how uh, those format options work so that you can use them. There's a word of caution about when using these options. It's very easy in a table stage to set a global format option just saying F equals A and R, and then that will apply obviously to every table that follows. Now, sometimes I found that quite difficult to debug errors in my table. So if I set or someone has set F equals A and R, and you forget that you sent you set it, you can look at a table and not understand why the base is wrong. Um, it's sometimes uh, something that I found that perhaps puzzles me sometimes when I'm trying to find errors in tables that I've forgotten that A and R has been set or someone sent me something to check and A and R has been set. And of course, it's not the logical filter that's appearing on that table. It's actually the logical filter. If there is one plus uh, the fact that only the people with uh, were included in the variable that were in the rows that are included. So there's a little word of warning if that happens to you. And similarly, if you want to use that when you're exporting perhaps projects to reflect or something like that or resolve, um, if you want a, a and R to apply, and it's a good way of doing that, so certainly in tracking studies where a question only perhaps appears at certain waves, you need to set that in the data stage so that that format option is carried over into the resolve file so that when you produce tables in resolve, A and R, if that's what you want, is automatically applied. Well, I hope that's been a useful video for you. Thanks for joining me.